I can take you on a historical journey back to when the Lord called me to Utah. I can take you to the very place where I heard the audible voice of heaven saying, there's going to be a new church plant. You're going to be part of a new church plant in downtown Salt Lake City. Pay attention, son. And then it just disappeared. And 10 years later, almost to the month, I was invited to be a part of a new church plant in downtown Salt Lake City. And I could tell you all of the things that the Lord began to shift in our hearts through, not just like dreams or visions of what we thought would be a good idea, but were heaven impressions that were burnt into our soul and our spirit. And I saw an end product of what revival looked like in Utah 25 years ago when we came. And what I see right now is not a manifestation of what we dreamed. We're not here just to make it through this life so that we can go to heaven. We're here to transform cities and nations. We're here to walk in such a manner that everywhere people go, they name the name of Jesus Christ because they can't help but give honor and glory for what they see in our lives and what they've seen happen with the miraculous events around us. And I saw a structure that's a denominational structure in this land that's been here for 150 years that didn't get destroyed but went through reformation because Jesus poured his love over the top of them. If you want to know a real truth, I saw myself in a vision one day standing in the middle of a very big building that seats 21,000 people while I was preaching the power of the kingdom and signs and wonders and miracles were happening at such a profound rate you couldn't keep up with it. And men were tearing off their jackets and their ties and they were swinging their ties in the air like whips for the glory of God and saying, Jesus, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. I was a young man then. I'm almost an old man now. And I don't want to leave this world or go to the grave with unrealized dreams. There are certain things that I know that I'm going to pass the mantle of, that I give the mantle to the next generation. But there are things that are supposed to be mine in this spirit. That I paid a price for. That I walked for. That I prayed for. You all carry the same DNA and the same destiny. There are things that the Lord is handing you that he wants you to accomplish the truth is, is that whether we accomplish it or not, he's going to accomplish what he wants to do because he's God. But I don't want to be like Elijah and saying that they've slain all the prophets, they've killed all the holy men of God, I'm the only one left, why don't you just kill me and get it over with? I do not want to end like that. Because there's a cost for carrying the kingdom. I don't want to be one who gave up because it was hard. I don't want to give up because it just wasn't convenient or easy or because whatever. No. We're called to transform this place. Brigham Young stepped over the top of the valley. He was deathly ill. He was in the back of a wagon coming down. They were headed to the Oregon coast. He was almost ready to die, honestly. And they rolled up to the Salt Lake Valley. One of his men got up and said, you need to look at this. And they got up out of the wagon and he looked into the valley and he says, this is the place. And they stopped here rather than going to the Oregon coast. I'd say what he made a declaration with the limitations of his understanding became a true prophetic word for the real kingdom of God right now. That this is the place. This is the place. So we declare and decree Utah You'll come underneath the banner of Jesus Christ. We declare for the glory of the kingdom that Jesus, Jesus has this place. And we speak to all rulers, authorities, and principalities to stay move over. King Jesus is coming in. Angels of heaven be released over this place in Jesus' name. Angels of glory come in such a manner that it pushes back and dispels darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare and decree it. Jesus is here to transform this house. Jesus is here to transform this, this city and this state. And we won't be content until the whole world knows that Jesus was here.
We won't be content until Jesus has his will and his way throughout the whole region. And so we declare it. Make it so, King Jesus. Angels of heaven come with greater authority than we've ever seen or known. We release you. We release you to do the bidding and the work of the Father. Even so, come quickly, Jesus. Yep. Yep. Everybody stand for a minute. We're just going to pray. Everybody stand in Jesus' name. Yep. In Jesus' name. The best you know how, pray for your family right now that all of your unsaved family will come to the King. The best that you know how, pray over your family members.